Choosing a good body font for a website is difficult. It's difficult mainly because we tend to overcomplicate it for ourselves. I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks on how to approach body typography without getting overwhelmed. The first and most important function over form. Your body font needs to be both legible and readable. Now the difference between legibility and readability is that legibility refers to how easy it is to tell one letter from another in a particular typeface and readability refers to how easy it is for a reader to successfully get through the text. But if you don't want to get too technical, the point is that the main function of your body font is that it is easy to read and that it does not make the user work harder than they should to get through the content. The second tip is your body typography is not the star of the show. It's not even the co-star. It's more like the guy in the back taking care of the lights. You're not really going to notice him unless he does his job poorly, in which case his contribution becomes very obvious. And it's the same thing with body typography. There's a lot of ways to include branding in your website, your colors, your spacings, your headings, your icon styles, your logo placements, all of these come before body typography. Because your body font is not the place to show your individuality because that will interfere with the first point, usability, function. If you go crazy on this and choose a wacky font full of personality, it's gonna make consuming content much harder for your users, which is one of the worst things you can do. I'm pretty sure it's one of the seven deadly sins of designing a website. And it is, because I just made it up. And this is the first one. And on top of that, you might even run into issues with your overall branding if you do this. Because your body font is gonna be pulling in one direction, your headings font is gonna be pulling in another, and all of the other elements are gonna be pulling in their own directions, and it's gonna be much more difficult to balance everything out. You don't want your body typography stealing attention from more important design elements. In this case, Boring is better. Now, of course, there are exceptions to the rule. There are websites where choosing a unique body font can really add to the experience and the vibe. But for most of us, most of the time, we're better off sticking to the basics. On to the more technical matters, choose a font with a medium to large X height. X height refers to the height of a lowercase x in a given typeface. It provides a way of describing the general proportions of that typeface. The bigger the contrast between uppercase and lowercase letters, the more difficult it is to read. Ipso facto, a large X height makes that contrast smaller, which makes everything easier to read. Especially at small sizes, which are prevalent, prevalent, prevalent in screens. While we're on the topic of contrast, make sure your typeface has a medium to a low stroke contrast. So the width of the individual letter should lean towards being more uniform, more even throughout. Because letters where one part is very thin and one part is very thick are more difficult to read. Again, especially at small sizes. Next tip, distinct letters matter. Use typefaces where individual character shapes are simple and clear, but still distinct. Even spacing and easily recognizable characters make everything easier to read. The next tip refers to flexibility. Make sure your typeface has different weights and potentially different styles available. There will likely be cases where you want your font to be a little bit bolder or a little bit thinner, so make sure you have that available. The same goes for styles. If you think you're gonna be using an italic font, make sure it's included. One weight typefaces will probably bring you some problems in the future, and there are so many out there, you really should not feel the need to limit yourself like that. There's plenty of fonts in the sea. D the internet sea. Now, should you choose a serif or a sans serif font? That's gonna depend on the branding and on the vibe you're going for. Typically, a serif font is gonna be more elegant and more traditional, and a sans serif font is gonna be more modern and simpler. I typically go for a sans serif font simply because even if your vibe is more elegant, they do the job really well. They are very versatile, they look great on screens, and even if you want a serif font, you can pair a sans serif body font with a serif headings font, and you get the best of both worlds. With that said, here are some of the typefaces that I like to use. All of these are available on Google Fonts, so they are free, they come in different weights, and they will all look great on screens. Enter. This is the font I currently use for my own websites. It is my go-to typeface. It fits all of the aforementioned criteria, and it just works for me. And that is beautiful. It's designed to work well on screens, and I recommend you at least add this one to your arsenal. Open Sans is another very functional font with a little bit more character than Enter. A good alternative to Open Sans is Lato. It has a friendlier, softer feel. On the more basic, boring side of things, you cannot go wrong with Roboto. Although, if you're choosing between Enter and Roboto, 
go for Inter. Regarding Serif typefaces, you're gonna find Meriwether, IBM Plex, Serif, or Crimson Pro are very suitable options. And Roboto also has their own version of a Serif font called Roboto Slab. Do you agree with my choices? Which ones do you like to use? Which ones would you recommend? Let me know in the comments below. So my final tip and the main thing I want you to take away from this video is to keep it simple. Your body typeface isn't something you should overcomplicate. You shouldn't try to reinvent the wheel because you will run into more issues than you do benefits. Once you find a good font or a couple of good fonts, stick to them. Don't be afraid to reuse them on different websites. No typeface, no typeface combination is ever going to be completely unique to that brand or website. And hey, there is something good to be said about sticking to your own style. Life is hard. Don't make it harder by spending hours looking for a new font for every website when you have one that works perfectly well already because chances are it's not really gonna make your website better or more unique in the grand scheme of things. To make your life even easier I recommend checking out this video next and hitting that thumbs up button so I can pop up on your screen again so you can click on me to get more cool tips, tricks and advice. Thank you for watching.